I love boondock. If you saw my last video on cold camping, you know I have a passion for all seasons. However, I did leave a little hint at my future plans. The other option is uh, go down south and do boondocking. Hey, that sounds like a great idea. Well, I did it. I went down south. I love the cold, but every once in a while it's nice to get warm. Anyway, I'm going to do some boondocking down here, uh, Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico, and uh, hope to make a video or two. Uh, but first, I got to tell you how I got down here. So I'll do a little story about that, and then we'll talk about Whitney Pocket. Hope you enjoy. Oh, here's my glasses. Okay, well, this is it. This is start of my camping adventure 2017. I'm leaving Calgary. It is 6.08 in the morning, and if I'm lucky, I should at least get to Butte, Idaho Falls, or Pocatello. Wish me luck. The northern states of Idaho and Montana are beautiful, but in January, the weather can be very unpredictable. Last night was at the Flying J in uh, Shelley, Idaho. It's friggin' cold out, and uh, there's a snowstorm coming, so gotta get out. I managed to keep ahead of the bad weather through Idaho, and was almost out of Utah before the storm hit. By Virgin Canyon, Arizona, it turned to rain, but I was almost there. Whitney Pocket is about an hour from Mesquite, Nevada, on a half gravel, half paved road called Gold Butte Road. It's a little rough at times, especially after rain, but once you see the pocket in the distance, you know you've arrived. Once there, you find a series of rock mounds on a plateau just east of the Virgin River. To the west is the Valley of Fire State Park, but since this location is on BLM land, there is no park fees. Perfect for boondocking. It didn't take long to find the perfect spot, and I set up my trailer. You know, last night it was a little cold, windy, and uh, rainy, but this morning, sun comes out, warms up the solar panels. This is just gorgeous. This is what boondocking's all about. There are a few sites to camp around the rocks, all surrounded by cactus, creosote bushes, and Joshua trees, with Virgin Peak to the east and Lake Mead to the south. After scouting locations, it was time to take a scramble up a few rocks. Actually, it was my camera that almost got scrambled when I loosened a rock while climbing. Watch to the right as this big rock comes loose. Ow, that was close. Fortunately, me and the camera did survive. But the lesson is still there. I really, really need to be more careful. Although the rocks look very smooth in the distance, some of them are actually quite sharp. Make sure you wear jeans, gloves would be preferable, and definitely hiking boots if you're climbing. It is pretty spectacular. Just a little bit windy today. What is truly amazing about the area is the variety and colors of the ancient sandstone as it was formed and eroded over millions of years. Some formations look like cresting waves, while others look like carvings from an ancient civilization. Water has eroded some into cliffs with pockets and caves while wind has twisted and distorted the rocks into bizarre shapes. Some are incredibly beautiful, while others are just plain dark and creepy. If you hike to the east up through Whitney Pass, you'll find lots of pines and more alpine-like vegetation. 
there really is a lot to see and explore, so plan on at least a couple of days to really appreciate the area. Each direction has different terrain and rock formations, but I especially like the hills just west of the campground. Lots of holes in the rocks to explore and photograph. If you're an artist, I'm sure you'll be inspired here. I think anybody that likes boondocking is going to like Whitney Pockets. It's a beautiful place. Beautiful scenery, great hiking. Uh, there's not a lot here, of course. You get a place to park and you get a fire pit, but uh, there's no facilities, there's no water, toilets, showers, or anything like that. Anything you need, you've got to bring in and take out, of course. Um, you're about 19 miles away from Mesquite, which has a Walmart and a uh, casino gas stations. Um, the road's a little rough, but it's, it's passable. But uh, just for the tranquility, it's, it's worth it. I just hope it stays this way. It's just gorgeous. Nothing like a breathtaking sunset to set the hills on fire. It was the perfect ending for this part of my journey. So if you're on a budget and traveling with a small trailer, I definitely recommend Whitney Pocket. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and please check my other videos. Happy camping!